Welcome to TGC. This is Katherine Seyfried with a City Council update. Just before calling the meeting to order on Tuesday the 20th, Mike Canterbury was sworn in as an at-large member of City Council. Canterbury was appointed to the vacant seat after Councilwoman Chris Nisley was appointed to serve as City Council President. Under communications, Mayor Paul Weil updated Council on Union Street, indicating that it is unknown at this time when the left lane and sidewalk will be open again. The city is concerned with safety, while work continues on trying to preserve the facades of the buildings. City Law Director Pat Lang announced that he will be finishing his term as the city's law director at the next regular session of Council on February 2nd. Mr. Lang will then begin his new career as a common pleas court judge. Five ordinances were given the first of three readings. Ordinance 01-15 authorizes the purchase of two new Athens Transit buses, while Ordinance 02-15 authorizes the disposal of an older bus that has over 176,000 miles on it. Ordinance 03-15 amends the 2015 Appropriation Ordinance. Councilmember Patterson explained that every year the Appropriation Ordinance has many adjustments to better reflect planned expenditures. This ordinance was placed under suspension of the three reading rule and was adopted by Council. Ordinance 04-15 extends the agreement with the Athens County Visitors Bureau for an additional three years. At the committee meeting on January 13th, Paige Olas, Executive Director of the Bureau, came to discuss the growth in tourism that Athens County has seen over the past few years. The Bureau will add two new full-time positions this year and is planning many events for 2015. Finally, Ordinance 05-15 amends the Taxi Cab Ordinance to fix a loophole to make taxis in the city safer and more reliable. This new ordinance changes the definition of taxi cabs and the requirements of when a license needs to be obtained. A one reading resolution was passed to support marriage equality in Ohio. The council as a whole introduced the resolution and council member Jennifer Cochran explained that this resolution was important because the city of Athens values diversity. She mentioned that Athens has a long history of supporting LGBT individuals as it was the only county in the state of Ohio to vote against a same-sex marriage ban in 2004. Former Council President Jim Sands sent a letter urging Council to adopt this resolution and expressed his full support for marriage equality. The resolution passed unanimously with applause from those in attendance. Under announcements, the auditor's report from December 2014 was accepted. The floor was then open to comments from the audience. Christopher Gege with Why Marriage Matters Ohio took to the podium and thanked the council for their support of LGBT citizens of Athens, citing that the city of Athens is the second city in Ohio to unanimously pass a similar measure. Council adjourned just after 7.30. This has been Catherine Seyfried with the TGC City Council Update.